UFC 282, guys, Darren Till finally coming back and he's facing Drikas Duplessis, which is an unbelievably difficult matchup for Darren Till, in my opinion, with the high volume, high power, unbelievable run that Drikas is on. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and visit fullreptile.co.uk. Let's get into it. So we'll kick off with Darren Till because he's lost four of his last five after being undefeated the whole way up. You know, up until Tyron Woodley, which in my opinion always got that fight way too early after he, I'm not going to say controversially beat Stephen Thompson because it was a razor close fight. It could have gone either way. It could have been a draw um, and he did get a knockdown. So I don't think anyone should really worry too much about that. Very, very close fight. Very, it was a chess match the whole way through. But you can worry after... When he fought Tyron Woodley, he spent the whole round circling him. Didn't throw a strike, really, man. And, and this is Darren's problem for the majority of his fights is he's gun shy. He always waits for that perfect shot. He doesn't just, he doesn't feed it out. He doesn't use the jab to find the target or anything. He just waits and waits and waits. Obviously, he's southpaw. But when he does wait and he does load up that power left, it's just one, two. All he throws, it seems to be, is a one-two. Other than maybe the step-in elbows, which I think he needs to implement more when he gets into those clinches, throw more elbows, because his elbow game is unbelievably good. The ex-Tie boxer was, you know, when he did tie boxing as a young kid, through his teens, and when he was out in Brazil for a few years, he was doing a lot of tie boxing. And you can see in his game where he stands very high, high guard, um, wide base, He's kind of adapted the Thai boxing for mixed martial arts. And he, his kicks, have you can't telegraph them. They just snap off the hip. They're, they're beautiful to watch. And I think implementing a calf kick game now for him would, would be a game changer. He loves the thigh. He loves a thigh kick. You know, it's, it's always dead the thigh. It's always abo just above the knee. And I think this time, with the way MMA is going and how devastating they can be, if he hits someone in the, in the calf and stops their movement, he can land that one too. He can get off... You know, off this losing streak, and he can really do some damage. But he's gonna—he can't be gun shy. He has to be way more aggressive, in my opinion. Not not wait for them because these fights now are three rounds. He seems to give up a round all the time. You know, you think back even to the early days of the UFC where he got a draw against Nicholas Dalby. Should never have been a draw. He was night and day better than Nicholas Dalby at the time. But because of the way he sits back in fights, it just doesn't get that. He's not a finisher. Yes, he finished Cowboy Cerrone, but like again, he didn't knock him out or anything. He just unloaded on him on the fence against a depleted Cerrone. And obviously, that was a depleted Darren at 170, but he's still a monster of a human at 170. He's a big guy. Middleweight, definitely his weight class. I want to see him. I'm glad he's out of Cowbon full time. I'm glad he's experimenting in different gyms. He trained with Hamza for a long time. Um, he's now over at uh, um, Tiger Muay Thai which is brilliant for conditioning and he definitely needs it. He needs to be in shape. He needs to come in not injured or at least less injured because he always seems to have a niggle or a problem. Against Derek Brunson, his knee was gone. He didn't throw it as an excuse. His coach came out with it, so don't blame him for that. But against Derek Brunson, he even rocked him a couple times. And he was never really in that fight as soon as it got to the ground. You know, the grappling, the night and day of grappling, you know, it just showed. Darren always said that he's really difficult to take down. Didn't look like it in that fight. I'm sure he's better in training. No one is ever as good as they are in training in the fight, typically. So it's a real tough one. We've got Drikas, guys, on an unbelievable streak. Just beat Brad Tavares as well. First fight of his winning career, not by finish. Take that into account, which is why Drikas is so devastating. You know, he did gas in that fight a little bit because he just threw so much volume, which is where Darren's going to have to watch it. It might suit Darren to a T that someone throws so much volume at him because he is a counter striker. It might really help him pinpoint that left hand and just and just whack him one <laughs> because Drikas comes out with his chin exposed, feet squared, and just punches and bunches. He's like a modern day Chuck Liddell in how he fights, but it works. And that's the scary thing. If Darren can't counter him, he's going to get swarmed, he's going to get clipped, and he's going to get three rounds of high energy, high volume and Drikas can hit off his back leg as well. If you if you pressurize him into the cage, he can throw off his back and he's got excellent timing. So for me guys, I think Darren really has to manage the distance incredibly well, work work that calf, stop the movement of Drikas, make sure he can't just unload a, pow a couple power shots in a row because what Drikas has is the speed. Darren's fast, but I think Drikas is faster. I, would, I wouldn't mind a cheeky bet on Drikas Duplessis in this one because I think he's very underrated. I think Brad Tavares win. Brad looked really good as well and Drikas still got the win. It was a very close fight. Someone like Darren on paper 
should be beating Dreykus. But to me, Darren isn't a top five guy. To me, he is a top 10 guy. And I think he needs a couple fights in this around the 10 to 15 range, get himself back on the winning ways, get himself comfortable in the octagon, octagon again, get himself comfortable everywhere. But if he can't get past Dreykus, he's in trouble right now because he's probably the most dangerous guy that isn't ranked that you could fight. So for me, guys, Darren could get it done. It's a real close fight. It's almost I'm sitting on the fence with this one because if I say Darren, a lot of people go, well, you're biased because you're English. But I do think Darren can get it done. I think the counter-striking is is perfect for him. I think if he comes in shape, he should get this done, no problem. I don't think he's going to finish Drikas. If he does, wow, that's a statement. That is a statement. But Drikas has every opportunity to win here. If you did like this video, guys, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.